We support all pathways of recovery. If Tanya Wheeler isn't at home or working, you may find her at the Capitol testifying. Typically, every legislative session, there's something that's going to come up that involves the uh, treatment and recovery field. She's the executive director of Advocates for Recovery Colorado, providing services to those in recovery from addiction, something she knows well. On the 23rd of May, um, I will celebrate 32 years in recovery. She says what happened this week to Colorado's fentanyl bill is a step backward. Arresting people does not reduce the instances of active addiction. The bill that passed through the state Senate Friday went through some changes this week. Right now, anyone possessing one gram of a drug can face a felony if that drug is mixed with fentanyl. The Senate ditched wording that requires people to know if drugs are mixed with fentanyl. Wheeler believes that goes after the wrong people. My experience is, is that the big dealers don't get arrested and who gets arrested and who this, uh, the consequences affect are the people who are themselves addicted to the substances. Democratic District Attorney Brian Mason of Adams County hopes the bill passes in its current form. The way that the fentanyl crisis is impacting my community gives me a sense of despair. Five people died in Commerce City, part of his district, after taking fentanyl-laced drugs back in February. Mason believes the bill gives them the tools they need to charge dealers. Certainly families who have lost loved ones to fentanyl poisoning feel that despair. This bill is a light of hope for us to actually make progress in addressing this crisis. Bill goes back to the House now where the language could change once again. Lawmakers obviously have to work fast because the session ends this next Wednesday, Kyle. And, and it's clear that some people with a big stake in this are going to be really unhappy with the outcome. Absolutely. So District Attorney Mason, for example, still said, though, that even if a low level user uh, say they are arrested and are charged with a felony, he assures that there's diversion programs they can go to to kind of get that off their record, while Wheeler says a better solution would be some of the support programs that they offer. Yeah, you hear prosecutors saying, just trust us to do this right. And people saying, not sure we yeah. have that trust. Yeah. Luis, thank you.